Hi, welcome to our channel. We're Tim and Mindy. Nice to be back with you this week for our Trader Joe's haul. We've got some exciting things. We have uh, some new frozen items as well as some tried and true. We've got uh, drinks and drinks and more drinks for the uh, summer season. And uh, then we also have some new items in the beauty section that we'll love to feature. So uh, to get, get us started, uh, let's uh, delve into some of this here. You and wanna start with the produce? Produce sounds good, yes. Uh, of course, we have our um, 19 cent bananas that we love. And so uh, they are wonderful, whether uh, frozen in the summertime for a Yonana or just as a snack and a lunch, um, excellent, or smoothies as well. And then you had, you were buying the Tom Cord seedless grapes and someone gave you a clue. Yeah, they uh, said if you froze them, they were almost like a little grape popsicle. So we tried that, it is very refreshing in the summertime to great grapes uh i actually prefer them frozen because yeah. when you eat them fresh like this you do crunch on the seed they say they're seedless but there's still a little seed in there but when they were frozen didn't really seem them i didn't better. even notice the seed it was yeah. really weird it was like a, it's a beautiful summer snack healthy um especially on ww so uh if you have that craving tom cord grapes are in at trader joe's then another thing that a friend <laughs> taught me in the produce was the Walter Porter salad. So it was apples and celery, which I have from a previous buy. And then I did yogurt. This is our Greek yogurt. This is the one I really love with a splash of vanilla. I tried a different vanilla and the organic bourbon vanilla is so much better adds to it. And then a little bit of sweetener of your choice. I use um, a pink package. Stir that all up, it's zero points, and it is really a nice, nice salad. So that was apples, celeries, yogurt, vanilla, and sweetener. Yeah, it's a good salad. I've had it too, uh, excellent, uh, for especially on WW, very low point salad. Um, I notice um, <clears throat> oh, also- This one? Yeah, the stir this fry. This is the, our sitting. stir fry, vegetable stir fry. I've featured that one before with another um, slush that we used for a sweet and sour. This time, there's a new item at Trader Joe's. It's the Asian style chicken sausage. This one was a little higher in points. It's got a very unique coloring to it. I'm gonna try it again, just broken down and fried, take it out of the casing. Use it with a stir fry and see how that does with another Asian inspired stir fry. That sounds really good. Uh, definitely look forward to trying that. Um, it looks like uh, also we have some cilantro uh, well, sitting over there. We do. It's always Taco Tuesday at our house. I bought the chicken that I've we've always featured. I boil it all up. That is my main prep I do for the week and shred it. Then I take the serving size out. One time I mixed it with the salsa verde and then the cilantro. Another time we've mixed it with the um, Authentica, which is a little spicy for me. He really likes that one. And the, well, the roasted tomatillo verde. And that fresh. one is oh. our favorite all the way yeah. around. That one we featured last week was the fresh roasted tomatillo and oh, yum. Yeah, very, very good. I even this week made a salad out of that because we had a little bit of that chicken left over. So I did a base of the refried beans, the fat-free refried beans, and then that chicken, a little bit of cheese, tomatoes, onions, cilantro. A very low calorie meal and it really hit home. So we, we enjoy the salsas from Trader Joe's. Yeah, the taco night is always a hit uh, on WW. It's nice when you come home, you can have a uh, um, very, still reasonably low point meal, but tastes very good. Uh, and um, I, I notice another dip that goes with the chicken too, uh, besides oh, that's the, the chili verde. Um, masala, yeah. I can't tell you how long it's been that I didn't know there was a difference between masala and marsala. Mm -hmm. It's just one little letter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Again, this one's really low on the points. A half a cup is just 90 calories. I'll put the points below on what this one is. It's a simmer sauce, so you can do the chicken and the cauliflower, maybe onions. Who knows? We're going to use that one up. And um, it's just another way of using our chicken and keeping our points low. Mm -hmm. Di nice different Indian flavor to things. And... Um, <clears throat> Definitely got some, uh, I, I noticed a spread in here too. This one is a new item at Trader Joe's. That's the sweet and savory. I'm not sure how to use it. I'm 
looks like a tomato jam. And we all know that tomato is a fruit, technically. Mm -hmm. The second ingredient is corn syrup. So it's more on the jam side. It, of course, would go great with a cheese board, just like the fig jam would. Mm -hmm. I think it would also right, be pretty good in a grilled cheese sandwich, maybe. Yeah, probably. Especially if you did a hot cheese, like a jalapeno pe or Monterey Jack pepper cheese. Yeah, it's actually not bad in the calories either, but uh, be very. it's going to be interesting to try and see. This is a brand new item, so we'll definitely have to provide some feedback uh, a little later on as well on that. Uh, very interesting uh, having that. Absolutely. So you want to go into the... Frozen. Frozen. we got to hit some frozen here. So, this one you really like. This is the... Yeah, this is the uh, beef shepherd's pie. It's a comfort food. It's not real WW friendly unless you went into your weekly points, which you know I might do once in a while. Um, what I like about it is it's shredded beef in there, uh, not just ground beef. And so um, I, I like to actually make it up very quick and easy. And if you want to get a little decadent, throw a little uh, shredded grated cheese on top of that mashed potato uh, at the end, and you would really have something there. So yeah, it's one of the better ones in Frozen. It's one of my tried and true along with the uh, beef lasagna that I've talked about and the uh, steak pies, which we'll have to feature sometime as well. If yeah. I'm having to work a different shift than him, because we both um, work still, this is one that he can cook up for himself, which makes it really nice. Yeah. We also have a shashuka oh my starter, goodness. which I know is one of your favorites. This is, and it's only two points for um, half of the box. The whole box makes enough for the two of us. So it's I crack in four eggs and then the shishuka sauce. It's just a nice change from normal eggs and it's tomatoes. I cannot make it for the price that they sell it for. Yeah, it's really like a spicy, but not overheat, mm -mm. but a stewed tomato pepper mix. Uh, really gives the eggs a nice flavor and um, excellent. It's from the Middle East, but a nice way to have over easy eggs as well. And it's easy to do in the Very. morning too. Very easy. I noticed some other new things in the frozen as well. We uh, do. This I haven't seen these before. This really cool. This is the, um, they're like little purses. It's cheese filled, and I won't even say it right, fiocchetti with a pink sauce. I was pleasantly surprised that the whole package is like 14, 15 points. So we can split it for about seven points each, which is reasonable for a meal. But to have a pasta meal with a sauce already in it, I was excited to see that. So we'll see what the reviews are on that. Yeah, the fiocchetti, it looks really good. And then, uh, is this a spaghetti? Or it is. They, they, it's so funny with the Trader Joe's buyers. It seems huh. like they keep going towards a the theme. So the mm -hmm. theme this time was black pepper. This was one of them. It's a pasta. Again, I think this one's a little higher in the count. So it may have to be divided into four for a side dish to go with uh, like chicken or something else that's lower calories. But it is a spaghetti with cream sauce, pepperoncino, Romano cheese, and black pepper. Very yeah, sounds good. basic, but it was one of their new items. So we'll see how it go out. that one goes. So those are some of the new and tried and that true. Was the other. And then this was, goes along with the pasta. It's not a frozen item, but it's a fresh item. And uh, it's, uh, um, again, uh, it's a pepper ravioli. Um, like she said, they're in the pep pepper theme, the thin stuffed black pepper pasta with ravioli and uh, Pacino Romano cheeses. So, man, it sounds really good. Um, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. Caccio e Pepe Ravioli is the yeah, name of it. Yeah, you can see it's, it's the same on both. One's spaghetti in the frozen and one's ravioli in the fresh. Yeah, so uh, either way, you can't go wrong. Um, and that would definitely sounds good with the black pepper and cheeses there so uh, pasta pasta here um now we uh go into some of the beauty items there that was we have. two that were in the beauty section one's a beauty item one's not because of having to wear a mask at work i feel like my bags get emphasized but trader joe's has this eye cream i love this eye cream eye cream some of the girls I work with also have liked it. It seems to be one of those products though that comes in all since gone for two months, comes in and gone for two months. I grabbed it so I can have it back up. It takes very, 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 very little, just a little dot underneath the eyes, but it works so well. Man, 
So that's a, a new product. Uh, uh, that that was kind of new. It's been around for a while, but then it disappeared. Ah, so it's coming back. And then back. it's come back. So I grabbed a backup because I know it's going to disappear again. It's just the way it is with Trader Joe's. Now I'm seeing a bag here uh, that's from the beauty section. This is new. I haven't seen them before. What are these? This is really unique. We're back to school. I'm sure they did this all before the COVID thing. It is a lunch bag. Oh. It's made with washable paper. Even this, I guess, is the washable paper. It's like the wine sacks they had, the washable wine sacks I think they hmm. had last year. Yep. It, I think, can lend to a craft project or the basis. It opens up like this. You can see it's a pretty big lunch sack. It has a funny feel to it, cellulose and latex. Hmm. The handle is in a weird spot. I'm thinking of, as I said, a craft project, detaching the handle and maybe you putting it up, up here so it can hang better, but it would even make a really cute purse. I thought it was just fun. Um, I'm gonna have fun with that one. I bet you will, and uh, payoffs uh, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll move on from beauty into the drinks. Uh, summertime is a drink season. So got a couple in front of me. Um, the concentrated cold brew black tea we've talked about before, but it's worth highlighting. Um, excellent for iced tea. <clears throat> you can take a quarter cup of this and then fill the rest in a two cup beaker with water. Perfect, perfect glass of nice black iced tea and very refreshing over ice. I know you oh, yeah, I, I, I use that one at work most often. Besides the iced tea, uh, summer is a time of iced coffee as well. And uh, Trader Joe's has three beautiful concentrates. We love them all. We have the cold brew coffee concentrate, uh, normal uh, flavor like it would be if you got the cold brew nitros, which I absolutely love. I enjoy those as well from the refrigerated section. These are shelf stable concentrates. Uh, and the only difference is they're not nitro infused, but the flavor is there. This is a French roast cold brew. So it would come on a little bolder in uh, flavor. And then can't forget it's little brother for the summer. It's little summer brother, <laughs> the coconut cold brew. I've uh, really been enjoying these. Um, you can technically uh, get four um, cups of coffee out of it. Uh, if you wanted to go small, I go a little larger on my iced coffee. So um, I get two out of uh, a bottle and it's very good coconut cold brew iced coffee. Something else we've been enjoying, maybe you can elaborate on this for ww as you already know we're, we're cheap i don't like going to starbucks all the time and spending the money for espresso we've used in place of espresso the french roast definitely gives you a stronger flavor but you mix that in the concentrate with one of your premier proteins that and trader joe's doesn't carry this we did find this at costco mm -hmm. on sale right now but these were the trader joe's items that we use the coconut one goes really good with the vanilla also the other two go good with the either the chocolate or the caramel premiere, mm -hmm. but it makes a really nice strong drink. And I don't dilute this down, so it gives me that oomph of coffee that I need in the morning and just put my premiere in it. And a little ice and blend that thing. And he blends it, I just put it up straight over ice. Yep, I love it blended and crushed up. Oh man, it's a wonderful uh, treat drink, uh, actually lower in points than when I just put you know, a little bit of milk in my coffee. So it's, it, it comes off really good. Um, also, as we're talking about drinks, these are two teas that we wanted to feature for the summer for iced tea season. Two of many, by the way, Red Refresh. It's a beautiful uh, iced tea. It's got a little bit of lemongrass in it. Uh, hibiscus uh, is featured, rose hips, uh, peppermint, orange peel. So it's kind of a citrusy, um, almost a berry flavor a little bit uh, the hibiscus gives yeah. it a really unique flavor which i, I enjoy it's mm -hmm. kind of a little bit on the hamish side that you see in the mm -hmm. mexican stores and uh the it, the refresh part is really the the key of the title that's how it will be as a nice tea a very refreshing a nice iced tea drink also another one is the organic pomegranate white tea that one's a little bit more milder and flavor, yeah it? it has hibiscus and lemongrass also but a little milder but also very refreshing in the form of an iced tea so just some summer ideas uh, the concentrated iced tea these can make nice iced teas 
and you're off and running to keep cool all summer so long. So you're covered all day long. <laughs> yeah, especially during our last heat wave we've just had here. You can't forget the desserts. Uh, going back to frozen for a little bit, uh, talking about summer as well. This is the WW friendly dessert that we've used and talked about many times, but I, I'll tell you, you can't beat it. Uh, along with frozen cherries or organic, um, actually just the regular mango chunks. Uh, the organic are good also, so we go back and forth, but well, you get a lot in there. A little sneak on him too. Uh, he actually turns the packages over and looks for the most orangish package. They are really good. So you can check and see which ones have the most ripe yeah. um, mangoes in them. And once in a while, he's really scored with some real orange ones. Yes, and put them in a bowl. And they're just like almost like uh, ice cream right. fruit, sherbet fruit. It's really, really good in the summertime. So organic uh, mango chunks or just regular man mango chunks can't go wrong. Frozen cherries are also very good. The frozen berries, we just kind of rotate around a little bit. Frozen pineapple. Um, also not so healthy, but very, very delicious. He's got more points than I do. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, once in a, it's a once in a while. Uh, mint chip ice cream, uh, very, very good. Um, just like we talked about the coffee and chocolate in an earlier uh, episode, the mint chip is wonderful. And um, you can't go wrong in TJ's ice cream section It's got at a all. clean mint flavor too. Yeah, huh? really does. Uh, very nice clean mint flavor. So um, worth having. Uh, if you, and the chocolate is very good quality mm -hmm. chocolate in there, nice... Uh, you know, it's not just shavings. It's, you know, very chunk, uh, kind of chunked uh, chips. Uh, very good. Big flakes. Yeah, big, big ones. Uh, so if you're going to call it a flake, it would be on the big side. Yes. <laughs> call it a chip, it'd be kind of normal, but, you know, a lot more than some chocolate chip ice creams out there. Very, very good for the summer. Um, I think that may be our haul. That wrapped it up. It yeah was a quick one but we we got new items yeah and we've had uh we talked a little bit about the frozen items new and uh nice favorites we talked about our drinks many nice drinks of the summertime and of course we talked about our beauty aids uh that are brand new at trader joe's give them a try and definitely don't forget your frozen items that for that sweet treat whether healthy or not and other than that, uh, thanks for joining us in our treasure hunt minefield we call Trader Joe's Hall. And definitely give us our thumbs up. And thanks for the comments. We'll, we'll see you next week. See you next time.